Hello there, Aries. This is going to be a reading for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Let's see what's going on. Whoa. They want to pop. Let's start with Taming the Beast. You make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. This is past energy. Losing battle. You are fighting a losing battle against your op opposition. Don't downgrade yourself. Play at your level, not theirs. Okay. Yeah, don't sink to their level if they're trying to pull something on you. Okay, unspoken love. They've been carrying a torch for you all along, but unable to confess their love due to their fear of rejection. So this is past energy. And we have here divine truth. We are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring to light all that has been hidden. Now this is what happened in the past. So something might have came to light in the past here for you guys. But you tamed them. You changed them. There's something about you that they realize when you guys were together. Because this is past energy. That um, there was something about you that is so different. So now they're no longer the playboy playgirl. Because you changed them. But they still were trying to bring you down to their level. Which I feel like you didn't. guys didn't do that. Which is good. We'll see. I'm going to clarify here. And um, But they've been carrying torch for you. And this is probably even longer than you knew. Maybe they knew of you before you knew of them. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Taming of the Beast? Why is the Taming of the Beast here in the past? Ooh, Page of Wands, Excitement and Curiosity. Yeah, this person, you know, they approached you with an invitation. Some kind of connection, some kind of, um... Yeah, some kind, they, they reached out to you. They might be younger than you too. And this is it could be Anella Aries or Leo or Sagittarius. Okay, what about this losing battle? You made them curious when they met you. And excited. So losing battle. We have Queen of Pentacles, nurturing. Yeah, you're very nurturing and caring. And I feel like maybe they even wanted you to do more. Like you did a lot as it is. And they were trying, okay, I'm getting this from this person. Let, uh, let me see what else I can get. And, you know, you didn't have to do that. It's like you already were given enough. I almost feel like this person was more of a taker and you were the giver. Very nurturing, caring. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. What about this unspoken love? And we have death, transition. This is Scorpio energy. So this person... Um, might be going through a transition because of you, in the, or they did in the past. They changed because like, you you got rid of their conquering ways, and here's the transition, transformation, um, something ending for something new to begin, a death for a rebirth. Okay, bomb deck we have here, five of cups, old wounds. It also it's in the past here, Sutton opened up old wounds. This person might have been the way they were, conquering and being the, you know, I don't care, I just gotta have some fun. Because they hurt, got hurt in the past. And that's why they were sort of like closed off. But then when you came into their life, it's like, whoa, it changed everything. So that had to open up the old wounds though. Okay, let's see what's present that happened with this person. We have boundaries. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them, including them. See, you're not low, getting lower to their um, energy here, their vibration. You're setting your boundaries. And we have ancestral karma. They are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through generations. Don't rush the journey. So half, right now, if they're not around you or they're not coming in, because they're working on things, they're trying to clear away some stuff here. To make it so that you guys can be together. And we have regret. They are having a hard time forgiving themselves for treating you poorly. Much less expecting you to forgive them. Yes. That's, this is this is awesome here. Because they are you are setting the boundaries. You're letting them know. I'm not going to put up what other people put up for you. Just because you can do it to others doesn't mean you can do it to me. Let's see. The player. See, here we got the player. The player lifestyle that wants to find everything they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. That's saying that. They found out that in the past and they, they realized it is still in the in the present. 
They know. They have to come correctly or don't come at all. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the boundary card here for the present energy for Aries? Oh, the old wounds came up again. Yeah, and this is also you. You know, you're putting up boundaries because, you know, I've been through. Been, been here, done that, not doing it again. So if they try to pull something that you already been through, you experience this. You don't need to experience again. You're going to let them know. Okay. Astro Karma. We got, ooh. Okay, they want a, a long-term commitment with you. And they realize that something's affecting them with their astral karma they have to deal with to get this connection this, they have to set a foundation that's clean and and clear and strong the regret here why do we have the regret here ten of pentacles ultimate achievement yeah they know that if they didn't act the way they did they could have had everything with you you were the prize you were you were the ultimate achievement it was like such a wonderful connection they could have had this if they didn't play the games that they were playing. Now we have six of swords, tranquility head. Someone's moving away from something to move something better. And it's going to be nice. It's going to be smooth sailing. This could be you. This could be them. This could be both of you. This is also someone could be traveling. Leaving a job to go to another job. Leaving where you live to move to a better location. Leaving the way you do things to, to do things differently. Which I think definitely this person's doing. Okay, now let's see. What is the future here? What do we have here for the future? Past life. Their soul recognized your soul from the moment they met you. They knew you were the one they've been waiting for. Immediate recognition of your past lives together. Even if you don't know, your souls know. I mean, if there's something that you can't, you just know something that feels very familiar. And it just feels comfortable right from the get-go. That is a past life connection. And that's coming up. This might be someone new coming in. Breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask you for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. Okay, this is coming up in the future. Someone's asking for a second chance. <clears throat> Maybe they just dawned on them now that there's past life connection. But usually that happens right away. But then if someone's trying to block it too, if they don't believe in it or they, it can't be possible, and then they keep on seeing it thrown in their face over and over again that it is, eventually you have to believe it. Children are affecting this connection. Be patient and allow them to resolve things for the highest good of all. So somehow children are involved here. Sometimes too, this could be someone acting like a child. There is transformation, though. We have a lot of butterflies here. They're getting help here. On a pedestal. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Now, this could also be a male, too. It's just, this is a card. Saying that someone's putting you on a pedestal. Male or female. This person is doing that. Okay, now past life. Why do we have the past life in the future? Independence. Feeling this independence is strong. They know that you don't need them. But I think for a lot of you would, you know, invite this in. But you also have your back here saying, I can do this without you. I don't need you to, to do things for me. But it would be nice if we can work together. But also be independent of each other. What about this breakthrough? Ooh, the moon illusions breaking through the the illusions breaking through the spices energy breaking through things are, are hidden because there's a lot of hidden emotions here and this is going to be coming out someone's going to actually open up they want to communicate they want to say how they actually felt before ace of cups i don't know why i had to turn this over but we got ace of cups love and in initiation so when someone's going to want to start this love offer to come in and Say, I have a lot of emotions for you. Now, why do we have the children here? For Aries. Queen of Swords, sharp in a sword. This is your energy. You know, they have to come in correctly. And this is also, you might be very protective. If you have children, you might be very protective over your children. So, it's not like they could just come in and you're going to be giving all your time to them. You have responsibility and you're going to tell them. I have things going on too. Ten of Swords, this was a very painful ending. 
I think they want to express that. Let's see what else we have for you guys. They're going to tell you how this hurt. But this means when the tens come up too, that means it's an ending. It's over. So you're not going to have to deal with this again. I have an ending like that again. So if you do, you might go back with this person for some of you. This might be a new person too. With this card here. With this. Someone else could be coming in. Now it's going to be different for different people. So take it how it resonates. Let's see what else we have for you guys. Ooh, eight of wands. Expect things to start moving quickly here. A lot of communication back and forth. The hangman, someone's seeing something in a different perspective. They've been waiting. And with the in in that process of waiting, it brought in a new way of doing things, a new way of seeing things, a new perspective. And we have the ace of cups. This person might be dawning on them how much they really care for you. Maybe they, I think someone was really suppressing their feelings. And now they can't do that anymore. And being maybe away from you, being in the absence of your energy, they realize how much they miss you. This is Pisces energy. I don't know if I said that. Okay, Page of Swords. I think some of you guys are learning something new. Maybe you're going back to school or you're starting a new career, a new job, and you have to do some research or, or learn some new things because of that job. Um, Maybe new applications or new something or there. But this is also, um, someone could be doing a lot of research for something. Maybe they're into something else or interest in something else and they're researching. This is also a spy card. This person could be trying to find out what you're up to. If you're involved with anybody, if you've been in separation for a long time, are you seeing someone else? What's going on? Asking friends and families or maybe watching social media on your accounts, checking in on you. Even getting these readings, that is a form of being spy. Going by your house. Okay, let's see what else we have. And that is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Could be anyone though. Justice. Someone wants things to be just, to be fair, to be equal, to balance out. And we have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Now we have Libra here and we have the, we have Libra. It's a very strong Libra because you have Libra here, Libra here, and Libra here. Okay. So we have a strong sense of balance also. If this is you, you're very fertile at this time. Um, this is a time if you, someone wanted to have a baby, it, they'll be very fertile to do so. Whether it's the male impregnating the female, be very fertile, or the female being very fertile. This is a time where, you know, you can have a pregnancy. Also a good time to start a business, a new career. You do quite well. Uh, the Empress is one of the most abundant cards too. So it's a good time for abundance. Things will balance out for you. Nice card to get with justice. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have the Queen of Pentacles here too. Doing all right financially. You know, you're content. And with your money here. Or it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn interest in you be wants to be nurturing caring towards you um, help uh, build a nice home with you okay. look at that right underneath the um justice card uh, even give and take you're having you're also have enough finances to give to uh, to donate and we have Five of Swords. I mean, this is always gossip. People getting in your business or talking, talking crap, starting trouble, drama, and this person getting a headache from hearing these people walking away, saying, "Leave me alone." Okay, let's see here. Magician, you're manifesting here. Is this this is your energy, or it could be Aquarius? You're able to manifest something new here. Keep your energy, keep your thoughts positive. Because whatever you're thinking about is going to come into being. So keep it positive. Okay, we have two of pentacles. See, balance again. A strong sense of things are coming into balance in your life. Things are getting... If it's a partnership, it should be a balanced partnership. If it's as far as work, you should be getting compensated for your work. Things are coming in balance. And it's also, you might have to make a decision. You're trying to balance things out. I think you're manifesting this stuff though, Aries. So, looks good. And we have the King of Cups. 
Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. Someone has a lot of emotions, a lot of love for you. And they might be coming in real quick. This is Cancer energy. So we have Cancer in the King of Cups and Cancer here. And the Chariot. Yeah, someone's, um, feels like someone's on their way to you. They want to talk to you. There's, um, they're, they're coming really quick. So whatever's happening or some kind of change, something's coming at you quick here. All right, let's see what signs we're dealing with. For Aries. What signs do we have here for Aries, please? We have Scorpio. Leo. Cancer. Aries. Aquarius. And Virgo. Okay, so these are the signs you could be dealing with. This could be placements in your chart, placements in their charts. could be other people around you. Scorpio, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer, Aries, Aquarius, and Virgo. Okay, so please let me know if this resonates. I'd love to read your comments. And I appreciate all your likes, shares, and subscribes. So I hope if you like this, this video, you give me a thumbs up. And I hope to see you guys again real soon. Thank you so much.